Tiger Talk, the University of West Alabama's official podcast for all things news, sports, and entertainment. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Tiger Talk. I'm Mara Cochran bringing you your updated news for the week of March 19th through March 23rd. The Small Business Development Center at the University of West Alabama had an open house to showcase the impact of the Development Center at UWA. Come meet the staff of the Development Center Thursday, March 22nd from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. in Guy Hunt Hall, room 151 at UWA. Refreshments will be served and the event is free of charge. In other campus news, have you thought about working for the FBI? The Internal Revenue Service Criminal Investigation Nationwide is conducting a student volunteer service program this summer. For an application and more information, contact Tammy White, Director of Career Services at THW at UWA.edu. Application deadline is March 23rd and your transcript is required. Also in campus news, the Pro Insurance Corporation in Birmingham has invited UWA students to participate in an on-site college fair April 6th from 1 to 3 p.m. During the college fair, you will be able to learn more about the different career opportunities at Pro Insurance as well as meet employees and leaders from the company. Transportation is first come, first served for six students interested. For more information, contact Allie Mills, Employee Relations Specialist for Career Services at amills at uwa.edu. That's all for this week's news. Next up on Tiger Talk, we have Jayla Gillison covering your campus entertainment. Jayla? Welcome to another entertainment segment of Tiger Talk. I'm Jayla Gillington. In this week's news, the Minority Business Student Association held a raffle contest. The tickets were $2 and the drawing was held on March 21st. First prize received $100, second prize received $50, and third prize received $25. Blue Key Honor Society is hosting the annual Miss Paragon pageant on April 10th at 7 p.m. in Bib Graves Auditorium. Blue Key is asking that all organizations, parents, or businesses submit two candidates to represent their group in the pageant. To be eligible, candidates must have a 2.5 cumulative GPA and must be involved in at least one recognized student organization on campus. The pageant consists of an evening gown competition between the sponsored contestants. The top 12 will be deemed as Livingston's loveliest for the next academic school year. This pageant is the oldest held on campus. The funds raised support the Blue Key Student Emergency Fund. The fee to enter is $20 per contestant and the sponsor is listed in the program. To sign up, check your emails and complete the form provided by the link. The deadline to enter is April 6th at 5 p.m. Hurry and submit your applications because Blue Key is only accepting the first 30 qualified candidates. For more information, contact Byron Thetford at bthetford at uwa.edu or Jeremy Sheffield at jsheffield at uwa.edu. This week is Greek Week on campus. Greek Week activities include a step show in Lyon Auditorium at 7 p.m. On Tuesday, a Greek Unity event at 6 p.m. in the sub. Wednesday is Greek Day at Tart Field at 3 p.m., and the Greek Games will begin at 7 p.m. in Tiger Stadium. Thursday, the Greek Banquet will be at 6 p.m. in the Livingston Community Civic Center with a band party following at 9 p.m. Come out and enjoy this fun week with the UWA Greeks. That's all for this week's entertainment news. Now on to Sports Talk with Caleb Smith. I'm Caleb Smith, and this is your Tiger Sports Update for the week of March 12th through the 18th. Beginning with baseball, West Alabama beat North Alabama with a score of 6-5 to five on Tuesday, March 13th. UWA was scheduled to play the following Friday against Delta State, but due to rain delays, the games were pushed back to Saturday, March 17th. DSU managed to sweep UWA in a doubleheader on Saturday. They scored seven runs over UWA's six runs in the first game and came out on top with a score of 4-1 to in the second game. Super Tiger Day was held on Saturday, March 17th, and it wouldn't have been complete without the classic red and white football game. In the end, the red team defeated the white team with a score of 20-17. to In more mainstream football news, Malcolm Butler was officially signed with the Tennessee Titans with a five-year deal worth $61 million. That's all for this week's Tiger Sports Update. For Myra Cochran and Jayla Gellington, I'm Kayla Smith. Tune in next week for more Tiger Talk.